Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic for anyone who are new and never been to this channel before. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 151. For all the new people, I do read this in a storytelling type of voice where I give each character a different and unique voice and act it out. Uh, that way it entertains me and hopefully you guys enjoy that. Due to Webtoon's policy, beginning of January 2023, I do have to blur 50% of each episode for all my public reads here on YouTube. If you guys are checking this out on Patreon, y'all don't have to worry about anything. And I do upload this on Patreon where you guys gain early access and not deal with any sort of censorship, especially if the graphics are a little bit too sensitive. Um, but yeah. It's available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. <sighs> With that being said, my channel is safe. I My channel's not no longer being taken off. I did receive four copyright strike all at the same time in December, but I was able to clear it all up. So further ado, I'm going to keep doing the blur because it's saving my, my YouTube channel from being blacklisted. So sorry guys, got to deal with it. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew, okay, it's been a while, so I don't remember what happened last. The Western Empire was rich in resources like gemstones, but since it was landlocked, it relied on the ports of several other nations. There's the Eastern Empire, Western Empire, White Mond, Bovolhan, Southern Kingdom. The first merchant group they sent out was detained in White Mond, which was the closest neighboring country. We've been on good terms with White Mond for many generations. What prompted this sudden change of heart? We Have we done something recently to offend them? There was nothing to suggest any trouble as of last week. We reached out to the ambassador for answers. Huh. The worst possibility I can think of is that they're unhappy with our recent transition to an empire. That could certainly complicate things. We'd be looking at a big problem. You're quite right. Find out what White Mond is really after. Yes, Your Majesty. I want you to tell the people you have stationed there to keep a close eye on the situation. Consider it done. The Remarried Empress, episode 151. After the emergency meeting, can we really trust Marquis Catron? He's likely harboring a grudge after what happened with Krista. Don't worry, he's not a fool. He held on to his position because he his job, he's good at his job. Oh. I suppose Henry knows him better than I do. Are you only interested in my body? Uh, come to think of it, I haven't said anything to him since then. D hmm. My queen? You're leaving without me? We're not off duty yet, are we? Are you angry with me? No, why would I be angry over such nonsense? St so you are angry. Click. Click, click, click. <laughs> I'm sorry, my queen. I, re I regret my earlier outburst. I thought we were growing closer. But had I known it would upset you this much, I'm really sorry. I'm the one keeping this distance between us, but why is it always Henry who has to walk on eggshells around me? I promised him I promised him a happy life, happy family. But have I left him feeling lonely? Because I was scared I'd fall in love with him. If I reject his heart and only accept his body. Why do you look so sad? Please, don't be angry at me. 
I'm... I'm not angry. It's just... Maybe you were right about what you said earlier. Dad! Oh. Did he say... Dad? Uh, uh, stop right there, you little brat. J Dad! Uh, oh, uh, no! <laughs> this is McKenna's nephew. I think his name is Sen. <gasps> it's Sebastian, your majesty. <sighs> My apologies, your majesty. My nephew wanted to explore the palace. I tried to restrict him to certain areas. But he ran off. Dad! Hey, don't go making me a single father, kid. Dad? So he calls everyone Dad. How old are you, dear? Twelve. Don't lie, you little rascal. He's three, your majesty. No, I'm twelve. <laughs> Henry said that even if I'm infertile, the mana stone will... The, the mana stone bed will help me bear a child. Sebastia so desperately wanted a child. I wonder if Henry feels the same. He seems so at ease holding a child he barely knows. Could that mean he likes children? Walton the third and Krista both used that bed, but they remained childless until the end. What if we face a similar fate? I've abduct, abducted the target and handed her over to the illegal slave trader. Give me the money you've received from her sale, and let me know where she ends up when she's been sold. I'll pay you extra for that information. Here's the rest of what I owe you. She handed a lot of money. What shall I say to Labetti when I see her? Maybe I'll ask her how she likes being one of the lowly slaves she's so despised. <laughs> She'll probably burst into tears or curse at me. I don't like the fact that the assassin knew they'd find me at the palace. But assassins are sworn to clients' confident, confident tap. I can't ever say that word. Confidentiality. 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 I can't ever say that. I'm sorry, guys. So it should be all right. I hope the child grows strong and healthy. Huh? The Trovi family has been loyal to the Imperial family for generation, but who knows if they'll pledge the same for the next emperor. <laughs> One can't expect them to have a good relationship under the circumstances. You want to borrow 10,000 crans? Sure. I'm sorry, I keep cu- Wait, that's his? You want to borrow 10,000 crans? Sure. I'm sorry, I keep coming to you like this. It's alright. I know you'll pay me back. Uh. Hmm? Why are you staring at me like that? Uh oh, I, I was thinking how beautiful you are. Like- the demons and myths. <laughs> oh, please don't take it wrong the wrong way. The demons are described as be being very beautiful since they had to seduce human. <laughs> You're beautiful too. Anyway, that's a lot of money. What are you using it for? Or is it a secret? Well, <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll tell you some other time. She's sending people to go and eliminate Navier's family. Oh my gosh. I really hope someone catches on to this and stop her. Like, stop the assassin, save her parents, and move them far away. Rashda is evil, guys. I am actually sickened by how evil she's becoming. Like... Oh my gosh, okay, well, that kind of caught me off guard. I didn't expect to react like this. But, alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, 
drop some comments on how y'all felt about this read. And hopefully I'll be able to upload the other uh, few episodes as well this week to catch up. Um, catch you guys in the, uh, next time. Bye!